A pleasant day to each and everyone. Today, we are going to solve three problems related to integral. The first one is the integral of cosine quantity x plus pi over 3 dx. The second one is the integral of quantity 6 square root of x plus 4 dx. And the last one is the integral of quantity 3x squared minus 27x raised to 4 all over 3x cubed minus 3e raised to x over pi dx. Now, let us move forward to our first problem, which is the integral of cosine quantity x plus pi over 3 dx. Since we are going to do some substitution, let u be equal to x plus pi over 3. The next thing we are going to do is to find the derivative of our u, which is du is equal to 1 dx. The next step we are going to do is to substitute u in our problem, and it will now become the integral of cosine quantity u du. The next step we are going to do is to convert our cosine to its equivalent trigonometric function which is sine and it will now become sine quantity u. The next step we are going to do is to undo the substitution we did earlier and place the value of u. Now it will become sine quantity x plus pi over 3. And to complete the evaluation to our given problem, we just need to add the constant or the letter C at the end of the expression. And it will now become sine quantity x plus pi over 3 plus C. Therefore, the integral of cosine quantity x plus pi over 3 dx is equal to sine quantity x plus pi over 3 plus C. Now, let us solve the next problem which is the integral of quantity 6 square root of x plus 4 dx. To do that, let us first apply the rule of linearity. With this help, we can separate the constant from the rest of the expression and divide it into 2. Now, we can rewrite it as 6 integral of square root of x dx plus 4 integral of 1 dx. The next thing we are going to do is to find the integral value of the first part which is the integral of square root of x dx. To make things easier, we are going to convert this radical symbol into a fractional exponent. Therefore, the integral of square root of x dx will now become the integral of x raised to 1 half dx. Now, let us continue. By using the power rule, where the integral of x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 all over n plus 1, where n is equal to 1 half, we will have the answer of 2x raised to 3 halves over 3. Therefore, the integral value of the first part is 2x raised to 3 halves over 3. Now that we already have the integral value of the first part, let us now solve for the integral value of the second part, which is the integral of 1 dx. By using the constant rule, we will have the answer or the integral value of the integral of 1 dx is equal to x. Now that we already have the integral value of the first and the second part, we can now substitute it into the 6 integral of square root of x dx plus 4 integral of 1 dx. By substituting the integral values, we will now have 6 times 2x raised to 3 halves over 3 plus 4 times x. By multiplying 6 to 2x raised to 3 halves over 3 and to 4 to x, we will now have the answer of 4x raised to 3 halves plus 4x. Now, to complete the evaluation of the given problem, we just need to add the c or the constant at the end of the expression. And it will now become 4x raised to 3 halves plus 4x plus c. Therefore, the integral of quantity 6 square root of x plus 4 dx is equal to 4x raised to 3 halves plus 4x plus c. Now, let us solve the last problem, which is the integral of quantity 3x squared minus 27x raised to 4 all over 3x cubed minus 3e raised to x over pi dx. As we can see, we can simplify this 3x squared minus 27x raised to 4 all over 3x cubed. And we can now rewrite it as the integral of quantity 1 minus 9x squared all over x minus 3e raised to x over pi dx. And then we will apply the linearity. 
by applying it, we will now have negative 3 over pi, the integral of e raised to x dx minus the integral of 9x squared minus 1 all over x dx. The next thing we are going to do is to find the integral value of the first part, which is the integral of e raised to x dx. We will use the exponential rule where the integral of a raised to x dx is equal to a raised to x over ln quantity a, where a is equal to e. By applying it, we will now have the integral value of the first part, which is the integral of e raised to x dx is equal to e raised to x. Now that we already have the integral value of the first part, let us now solve for the integral value of the second part, which is the integral of 9x squared minus 1 all over x dx. To do that, let us first expand it. By expanding it, we will now have the integral of 9x minus 1 over x dx. And then, we will apply the linearity. By applying it, we will now have 9, the integral of x dx, minus the integral of 1 over x dx. And then, the next thing we are going to do is to find the integral value of its first part, which is the integral of x dx. We will use the power rule, where our n is equal to 1, and therefore, the integral value of our first part which is the integral of x dx, is equal to x squared over 2. Now that we already have the first part, let us solve for the second part, which is the integral of 1 over x dx. And the integral value of this second part is ln quantity x. Now that we already have the first integral and the second integral values, let us now substitute it in the 9 integral of x dx minus the integral of 1 over x dx. By substituting it so, we will now have 9 times x squared over 2 minus ln quantity x. By multiplying 9 to x squared over 2, the, therefore, 9x squared over 2 minus ln quantity x is the integral value of the integral of 9x squared minus 1 over x dx. Now that we already have the second integral value and the first integral value which is e raised to x, we can now substitute it to negative 3 over pi, the integral of e raised to x dx minus the integral of 9x squared minus 1 all over x dx. And then by, by substituting it, we will now have ln quantity of x minus 3e raised to x over pi minus 9x squared over 2. Now, to finish the evaluation of the given problem, we just need to add an absolute value and we need to add the letter c or the constant at the end of the expression. And it will now become ln, the absolute value of quantity of x, minus 3e raised to x over pi minus 9x squared over 2 plus c. Therefore, the integral of quantity 3x squared minus 27x raised to 4 all over 3x cubed minus 3e raised to x over pi dx is equal to ln, the absolute value of quantity of x minus 3e raised to x over pi minus 9x squared over 2 plus c. That is all and thank you for listening.